Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, so my name is, uh, oops, here we go. My name is uh, Sarah, and I will be your host for today. Um, I am a recruitment officer here at the Pembroke campus, um, specializing in student recruitment, and I've worked worked at the college for about two years. I am joined today uh, with me. I have Jen or Jennifer Jones, um, and she is the student of the Office Administration. Oh my goodness, the Office Administration Executive Program, and she is our current placement student here in our department. So, Jen, you want to say hi? Hi, guys. Excellent. Okay. So we'll just give you a little bit of an idea about our small campus. Uh, so we are small, warm, and friendly. Our great, we have a great student-to-prof ratio. So there's lots of opportunities for you to um, chat with your teachers, make sure that you have all your questions answered without having to wait for um, office hours or anything. Class sizes are around 25 to 50 students. Uh, so about kind of like your regular high school classroom if you can remember that. Um, so trying to keep it on the smaller side so you have that opportunity to chat with your other students, chat with your teacher and get all your questions answered. We have about a thousand students that do attend this campus on an annual basis. So that's over the 20 programs that we offer here at the Pembroke campus. We're committed to student success. We're, so we're here to make sure that you are successful in your program. So we're making sure that you are happy with your program. If you have any issues that you want to reach out to our student support staff who are here to help you with any and all issues that you may find throughout the year or years, depending on your program. And we are connected to the local labor market. So we're making sure that you have a job at the end of your program. And if there's jobs that are changing a little bit, then we make sure to change the program um, so that it suits you and it suits employers um, at the end. Uh, so just to give you an idea of where we are located, we are located at in the Pembroke campus. Uh, so you can see we have Ottawa, which is our main campus, and Perth as well, uh, which is our smaller campus. And depending on where you are living, this just gives you an idea of how far you are away from us. So if you're maybe in Kitchener, Hamilton, Toronto area, you could be in the five plus range, Oshawa, Peterborough in the four hour range, and then Kingston, Rockville in the two hour range. Uh, so just give you an idea of where we are located. Um, of course, we have 20 programs, as I mentioned a little bit earlier. We have our collaborative degree, which is our four years. It is our Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. We have our two-year diplomas. We have compressed diplomas. So this is like the year or year and a half. So like the um, Office Administration, oh my goodness, Office Administration Executive Program uh, is the one-year compressed, and we do offer a one-and-a-half-year with other programs. We have our certificates, which are one year. Um, we have co-op diplomas. So our co-op diplomas are awesome because you do have an opportunity to do a semester of work. And that is actually going to be paid work as well. So you get the experience and you get a paycheck um, too. And articulation agreements and degree pathways. So if you've never heard of this before, uh, this is basically your option to, if you thought about university, but you're a little bit uncertain, you can take your program um, and potentially go on to university afterwards. And I will show you uh, what kind of articulation agreement the Office Administration Executive Program offers you. So enough about what our programs are. I wanted to talk a lot more about our Office Administration Executive Program. So like I mentioned, it is compressed, and it's compressed into 43 weeks. Uh, so you start in September and you finish at the end, uh, or middle to end of August. Uh, so a lot of people may be a little bit worried about that, um, but that is perfectly okay. Um, your courses do include interpersonal relations, business, math, fundamentals, uh, bookkeeping, executive integrated projects, and tons more. And within the program, there is a lot of com um, there is an opportunity to complete your field placement towards the end of your third semester. And that is what Jen is doing currently in the um, current student of current and student. Oh my goodness, current affairs, current and student affairs department. Um, and 
you get to participate in community initiatives. So this year, the students participated in Raise the Red Flag uh, campaign and Coldest Night of the Year. And our graduates do find employment within both the public and private sectors in administration. Um, so a lot of our students have been very successful. But I wanted to pass it on to um, Jen to ask her a couple questions about the program. So first off, how did you feel about the compressed component of it? Uh, it was stressful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of work, but worth it in the end. Okay. Being done in a shorter amount of time. And do you have any top tips for any students that are thinking of potentially a compressed program? Stay on top of the work. Do not get behind. Learn that the hard way. <laughs> but, yeah, stay on top of it. Excellent. And what about some of your favorite courses that you took? Uh, I'm one of the interesting ones. I like the computer courses. Okay. So I enjoy desktop publishing and Excel. Yes. So working with spreadsheets and what does the desktop publishing? You like design posters and okay, everything. Okay, excellent. It was fun. So you're using like Photoshop and stuff? No, you actually just use Word. Oh, just using Word. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that would have been... It's difficult, but it's fun. Okay. Because you get to be creative. Yeah. Very cool. Especially if you are used to just writing in Word. So yeah. if you get to learn how to design in Word, I think that's really cool. It is cool. Uh, so the computers were definitely your strong suit. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Excellent. Um, and you just started your placement with us. Yes. Like, on Tuesday. Yes. Um, <laughs> and how have you, how was the placement process? Did you look at a different, couple different companies and picked uh, Algonquin or were you like, I want to work at the college? I did apply elsewhere, mm -hmm. but this was more, I could do my design here Yes. rather than at the other place. Okay. It would be more answering a telephone. Yes. <laughs> so this one allows you a little bit more free movement yes. and a lot of different stuff. Yes. Awesome. Um, do you want to talk to us about some of the initiatives that you ran this year with your fellow students? Uh, we did raise a red flag, which is raising money for the Robbie Dean Center, which is for mental health awareness. Uh, we raised $5,005. Oh, yeah. Yes, it was, it was fun. We did bake sales. We did um, trivia night. You also had a big event on we, campus, too. Yes, yeah. that was like a, a family fun day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, games for the kids. Silent auction. I think there was like a, wasn't there like a donut making? Yes, there was yeah. donuts. Um, donated from McGuire's. Donut. Yes, I saw that. That looked amazing. <laughs> yeah, I hung out and made cotton candy. Nice. That was fun. Excellent. And so do you know, so the, the money that you guys raised is going to go to awareness. So is that like their marketing or just them being able to get out into the community a bit better? It is for people to actually get help. Okay. Because I think it's $12 for every intake. Oh, okay. Like that. So it's kind of covering the costs so yes. people have access to it a little bit more. Yes. Excellent. And then do you want to give us a quick kind of snapshot of what you guys did uh, for the coldest night of the year? We took the donations and tallied it up at the end. Okay. So you took all the pledges and yes. everything like that. Excellent. Um, and do you have any plans for after you finish the program? Not yet. Not yet, but you're still looking. Yes. Excellent. Um, so to continue talking about the community initiatives, as mentioned, they were part of the uh, coldest night of the year and raised the red flag campaign. And actually last year's um, Office of Men students won the Changemaker Award from Algonquin College's Board of Governors. And so this is really cool because these students raised more than enough money um, to help fund the renovations for the Grind, uh, Grind Pembroke's Transition House. And actually, uh, they worked with our carpentry and renovation students to um, put in those renovation, uh, renovations for the Grind uh, Transition House. So that was really cool. Yeah. Um, and chatting with the, the coordinator of the carpentry and renovation techniques program loved that the program helped 
their students out too. Um, and then as we mentioned, yeah, they raised five thousand and five dollars for the red, raise the red flag campaign, which was fantastic. Um, and I know the bake sales were such a huge hit. Yes. Um, I, I definitely visited the bake sales <laughs> quite a number of times, uh, but it was good. Uh, any other tips you want to give any future office and office admin students? Um, just stay on top of your work. Do not get behind. That's my main part. Yeah. Cause I did that. Yeah. <laughs> And then you caught up for a second and third semester. Oh, yeah. 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 But it was the first semester that yes. was there. So if you have an assignment that's given to you at the starting of the semester, don't leave it till the end. <laughs> Did that first semester and learned. And then you got through. Yes. So you're good. Yes. <laughs> um, awesome. So we're just going to talk a little bit more about the articulation agreement. So as I mentioned, uh, this is your opportunity to go on to university. Uh, so you can take the basically compressed two-year diploma, which is the 43-week um, Office Administration Executive program here at the Pembroke campus, and then articulate into a Bachelor of Professional Arts Communications Studies major. And that's at Athabasca University. And actually, that's all online, um, which is very cool. So if you end up finding that full-time job, but you still want to um, go to... Uh, university you have that option which is super cool uh, so that gives you an idea and I, I read yesterday that they do take most of your credits and they will transfer you in and it's a probably an extra three years to finish that degree program so definitely something worthwhile if you're thinking about taking the office administration executive program and going on to university afterwards um so we do have our student services uh, so our student services are I ideal um, here at the Pembroke campus. Um, so we have our co-op office um, and our student success specialist. So our student success specialist is here to help you um, get through the program. We like to call her the GPS of the campus because uh, she, she gets you from point A to point B all the way from the uh, all the way from day one to you all the way up to your graduation day. Um, and she's awesome. Her door is always open uh, for students to pop in and chat with her. We also have our counseling services. Uh, so anything for mental health, if you just need someone to chat with, we have our counseling services here on campus. Financial aid, if you're looking for OSAP or bursaries and scholarships, our financial aid officers are here to help you get money to make sure that you are um, being smart with your money throughout the year. Uh, they'll also do budget uh, with you too. We have our Center for Accessible Learning. So if you had an IEP in high school or any additional accommodations, then you can sign up with the Center for Accessible Learning and they'll help you out with any and all accommodations you might need. Maybe it's an extra, extra time on tests or a different room. Um, they're there to help you so that you're successful too. We have our health services. We do have a registered nurse on campus and she does a flu shock clinic every year and it's free for all of our students. Uh, employment services, so that they are there to help you with resumes, cover letters. Um, Jessica, who is our co-op officer, um, does do um, job fairs every semester. So that's your opportunity to hand out your resume, network with future employers about some of the different opportunities they might offer you. And our learning strategists. So um, they're here to help you with anything when it comes to time management or potentially uh, booking additional outside tests too. Um, here at the Pembroke campus, we do give our students about $250,000 worth of bursaries annually. Uh, so that's making sure you guys have money in your pocket. And the cool thing about bursaries is that you don't have to pay it back, which is fantastic. Uh, and there is bursary portals that open up every semester. So you get the option to put your name in the hat and then um, that's all you really need to do, which is pretty cool. Of course, all of that talk about books and studying, we're here to make sure you have fun too. So we do orientation. I know our student association does many different events throughout the year from going to see sporting events like Ottawa Red Blacks or Cent Auto the, oh my goodness, Ottawa Senators. Um, they do laser tag, they have intramurals, um, they do Halloween 
they did a haunted Halloween last year, which was super scary. Um, and I only saw it when there was no actors in it. <laughs> and that was scary enough. Um, they do Christmas karaoke. They do paint nights. They do everything under the sun, as well as making sure that you guys are fed too, which is fantastic. And I know it's normally when you're really stressed out and you haven't eaten, but yes. we'll have pizza somewhere <laughs> in the commons for you. Um, and if you're out of town, uh, we do have three privately owned residences that are up for up for rentals. So at the top, you can see right here, this is Amna House. And Amna House is um, a kind of your own room with a communal kitchen and bathroom. And actually the bed right here is a Murphy bed. So if you push it up against the wall, your desk comes um, underneath it, which is super cool. We have Algonquin House, which is this one photo right here. And Algonquin House is your own uh, bedroom and actually own bathroom too, which is very cool, but still communal kitchen um, too. And last but not least, we have our 320 Lake Street, which is this one right here. So that one is apartment style living. Uh, you end up living with two other uh, students, whether they're in your program or in a similar program. Um, and you actually have a dishwasher in the kitchen, which is pretty cool. That is good. Yeah, because you, <laughs> normally you don't get dishwashers. Uh, and you have your own, you have a communal kitchen and um, living room that you share with your two roommates. Um, so if you want, you can give us a follow on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you have any additional questions after today, um, feel free to give me a either a call or an email, and I'd be more than happy to either help you through the application process, answer any of those burning questions uh, that you may have for that. So thank you guys for listening to both myself and Jen today. Um, if you do have those questions, feel free to email me and hopefully look forward to seeing you on campus. So have a good day.